Okay, so I just got the new update released today by Daniel. Um, it's gonna supposed to have a couple of fixes in it. Plus, it has the pretty much everything: the system and the MCU and the config all updated. So I figure I will go through quick, see how it works, and also show how the process works because um, we got some clarification on that also. So let's start. I'll put the USB back in. The USB is back in. As usual, I'll get this question. I'm going to cancel. Hmm. Got that factory settings thing again. So I went back to home. And now I'm going to do version. And first you do the system update, which is USB update. Are you ready? Yes. You did pull out the USB before the last reboot or otherwise you're gonna go back into that import settings loop. This is the new interface. I'll have to learn more about this later. I haven't really done anything on it yet, but I did hear about it. It's supposed to be easier to navigate. I don't know, I sort of like the old one, I think, but we'll see. Anyways, in the meantime, settings, system. Now we're gonna wanna do the MCU update. So I'm gonna put the USB back in. USB is back in. Now I'm gonna do MCU update. Power off the vehicle, same thing. All right, MCU update is initializing. All right, so now the MCU is updated. This time I do want to import factory settings, so that's the last step. So I hit that. All right. Now I'm going to hit yes and then pull out the USB. So let's see what we get now. So let's make sure that my settings are correct. Starting with the car setting. Car mode. Is there one? That should be what I'm doing. Sound mix, no, disable, and reverse view is OEM. Okay, so quick wrap up, wrap up from what I've figured out. Um, so it is a whole new UI. I don't really love it as much personally. I guess it is a little bit easier to, it's bigger, a little bit easier to use. I like my old one with the scrolling wheels and the picture of my car, so I'll have to see if there's a way. There may be a way to change that back. Um, there is an option that looks like it might change the GUI, but it doesn't seem to do it. Uh, there is now the reverse options. So <clears throat> OEM Audi 360 DT is the one that you're gonna want if you're a manual and you have the OEM camera, so that's good. People have been waiting for that. Um, <clears throat> I don't have any more luck with the USB camera, front-mounted camera than I used to. My rear camera works fine, just like it used to. However, if I go to USB, um, this is the original ADS APK, the one I downloaded from the site and reinstalled. I haven't updated it. I've got two USB cameras. I've tried both of them. One's pretty old webcam. The other one's a DVR cam for a car. Um, both work fine normally. 
neither one of these show up have plugged them into multiple ports and tried them at the same time and different times and nothing shows up it doesn't let me do settings or anything else uh, just exit so that's not working um, and I still that's been a problem the whole time I still don't know what that is uh, but other than that it seems to be pretty snappy and everything else seems to work I've heard that Android Auto wireless works now I haven't tried that yet maybe I'll try that later um, I don't really use it a lot but we'll see uh, and also it's supposed to work with voice assistant but although it does launch it as you can see here and it is actually listening to me um, the response is going to come from my Audi one because as you can see it's actually switching the output the list is empty for the for the audio so um, so that's my problem um, but so that's what I've seen thus far and again you know certainly I could see how people might like this I don't love it personally um, but everybody's different but that's sort of what the out the update looks like yeah okay so quick update that I'll do to post on top of the original update um, anyway so I figured a few of these things out thanks for some hints um, First of all, there is a setting to go back to the original UI from the new UI. If you don't like the new UI, um, I'm not a fan. So if you go into the system, factory settings, 1314, then you go to Android settings. There is a UI theme option. The default is MIB3. You change it to 3G MMI, and you have to then reboot the machine and reboot it by using the reboot app or just turning it on and off make sure it needs to reboot it will go to the new the old uh, UI as you can see that I have here um, <clears throat> the other thing I've figured out is the voice control so it is true you have to deactivate the voice control from an Audi side if you have it in order to make this work once you're done what's the weather So, point is that this will work actually. Um, I have to tweak how it shows up, and I want to eventually change it to a different uh, one than Google probably. But, anyways, but point is it will work. Um, you do have to disable the MMI. That does require. I did it with ODB 11. Um, I'll update Facebook and uh, and stuff how to do that. Um, but it's a little tricky, but it is possible. <clears throat> um, so that is the cool thing. And then as we discussed before, there's other options for the reverse camera, which is important. Um, and everything else seems to be stable and working. So I'm happy about that. So anyways, all in all, looks like a good update. It's done.